YouTube and welcome to a new series and today we're going to be playing some Frostpunk, a new game that has not been out for too long at all, but you might have seen a lot of it on Early Access and other YouTubers playing it. Played a little bit of it, I'm not very good. What we are going to do is just select the main scenario, which is a new home. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? Let's start this up. Plan ahead. If you're only reacting to crises, one slip too many will mean that your people or you will end up dead. That's probably quite likely to happen to me. When you promise something and then fail to deliver, your people will lose some hope and their discontent will rise. That's not what we want. That's what we're going to try and avoid on this playthrough. People who live or work in freezing conditions can get such bad frostbite they have to undergo an amputation. Oh shit. Well, we'll try and avoid that if we can. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of all. Stripped of pride and glory. Since yesterday, we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. With it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Mm, very cool cinema. A new home, we fled from London across the sea to reach the frozen north. On our way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to the building. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stop by some coal and start the generator. Okie doke. Well, I know that you get resources that are dotted around. There's wood crates here. Still wreckage over here. More wood crates as wood. There's a coal pile there. So let's set a few workers just to get us some coal. There's a coal pile over there as well. Let's get some more workers on the coal. Some steel. Some wood. And some more wood there. Let's just try and dot our workers around. Try and make as use of all the resources we can get people heading over to them. Because then after that I can build streets more coal here, we won't put quite as many workers on that. Let's 
จมูกเขาแล้วมูสมูวูดเฮดเอาไว้กันในทรอยซอก็ไอพีบอม roughly can go in and get me some resources we increase our coal pigeon we'll see more we want a lot of coal what can we build right away we can build tents base heat in level one resources we can build a gathering post people working here gather resources from nearby poles coal piles wood crates and steel wreckage Maybe put one here, then connect it to a street. So that might help us out a little bit. Nice right, playlist. Very pretty, though. No. Very pretty game. You know, our little work is going out. We can speed this up, though, as it is generally quite slow pace while it's happening. We have 80 people were homeless. We have one steam core, five steel, 12 wood. Our coal is gradually going up. How much coal do we need? Six. Let's turn the generator on. So we're now producing heat now. But also, we're using coal. Build some tents. Let's start building two tents. Because we need places for people to live, we do. Otherwise, it's all going to go really badly. So, this is fairly well heated. We really don't want all our people walking through the snow, so we are going to need more wood. There's still some more workers available. So what I might do is just increase the amount of workers we have fed into the wood piles because we're going to need wood for the build buildings. I think we can fast forward this on a little bit. It's minus 20 at the moment so it's a tad nippy. And we can look at our book of laws or economy. At the moment we have coal at least. We're getting a lot more daily gain than consumption so that's good. There is no food processing going on at all. There are no functioning medical facilities. And at the moment we are getting 11 steel a day and well, 10 steel and plus 60 wood. Still really not enough. We can now adjust this quickly. Assign the workers that we have here to work. Right, we need food this morning, mate. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down and the city dies, be mindful of coal resources or reserves. We can take everyone off this and just max this out. So that'll, go to, that'll be that'll go a lot quicker, that will. Right, we're gonna need food, as it just warned me about that. So we have 20 more food, but I think we're going to need a cookhouse, aren't we? So we can actually... Let's put the cookhouse right next to... It's not too far away. And it's also still quite near our tents that we just set up. Finish your labours, people. The work well, I would like another gathering post. No roof overheads. Sir, Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We've got to do something about it. I will provide some shelter. You have two days to provide for a shelter of 30 people. I can provide some shelter. We'll worry at it. Build another tent. It's people's free time at the moment. Some late labour still occurs. I would like another gathering post over here. The wisdom of the crowd captain, when facing demand, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. 
You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you, I'll bear that in mind. Let's look at the Book of Laws. Find the ways to battle hunger, sickness, and a, 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 a empathy. Apathy. Well, let's go for child safe jobs, as we are. Hope will fall slightly, and children can be injured, but we need everyone working to save the, to save our city. There aren't enough hands to do all the work, but allow children to be employed in safe workplaces like cook houses or hives. New law! A new law has passed! Let's get five children was working in the cookhouse. Probably not the most effective thing ever. We will just fast speed this. As you can see, it's free time at the moment and our coal reserves are actually going down. As this generator has been heated. We have someone that is already ill, that is not good. One person is sick. It's not gravely sick yet though. So it could be worse. Still not ideal. But we need to secure raw food supply, so we need to build a hunter's hut. But really we've got to get everyone accommodated. It's now only working day, I do believe this is. Work time, get moving. Well Gavin post 15 wood, 5 steel. How much wood are we earning a day? That's the question. Let's just pause this and look at our economy. When plus 74 a day. I would like to put a few more people on wood. So even put some children out here to get wood. A bit mean, but we need we need more. Let's see as to survive. We want to keep our engineers really if we can. I would like to build another resource gathering post over here. Then we have to build a street, we will. Just to try and maximise our resource gain. Also it means people are not getting so cold so quickly because they're actually travelling using the streets. I think we'll use some, another of our ten reed wood to build another house. Which is fine. All well, those little people look at milling around going to their, getting their daily bread. A lot better than them sludging through the slow no once all this street is finished. Right, we got quite a bit more wood now, just noticed that. Right, so we have we're gonna need a hunter's hut very soon. Put another few tents down. So hunters have only 20 wood for that. Well we will have that by the time work day is finished. Dump that right there. So just make sure this does get built. Just trying to maximise everything we are doing at the moment. Right, that's good. That's good. Let's so look at the menu actually. Just look at the controls. How do you rotate buildings? Can you rotate buildings? Not sure you can. Rotate right, E or left. Or 
me your cue, just to see what it does. Okay, no, that's only Yale. What's his face? That's just rotating. Right, let's take everything off this and put some more workers in here. So we really have got to make use of these resources. I'll get more wood low. We should be able to house everyone soon. The end of the work day. It's time off. I'll try to build more houses so even more people are housed for the day. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relief from roof, even a flapping one over their heads. So, so people are happier. We have to keep this discontent down. We do. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try and rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You will need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Critical shortage, the number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst effort of F could help us gather necessary resources. Consider shining, signing the emergency ship group. You know what, we might just do that. New law! A new law has passed! So I'm on free time at the moment, so how do I actually... Does it tell me how I do the emergency shift? Let's just check and see how we do this. I'm not fully sure how you actually execute emergency shift. Economy, book of laws, building, hope, discontent. I'm not sure if it says it. Has to be a way though, that's the temperature toggle. There are workers, employed, unemployed, and then and the prohibited workers, which can occur. There has to be a way to do it. Preposterous, are you trying to work us to death? Well, you're not working at the moment anyway, are you? Generator functioning. Generator stress level, yeah, you can do your generator, or you can toggle your generator to produce more heat. Or once you do that, you put stress on the generator. Is that dismantles building? That's sex previous type, that's halt operation. Very low risk of getting ill. Because at least one work, I only want hunters, don't we? Three workers at the moment. Steel is doing okay. The resource. Let's just make sure we are doing a little bit of planning, getting some more hunters. Let's put some engineers into the garrison post, and let's give ourselves some more as many hunters as possible. Really, that's fourteen. Right, don't know how to do emergency shift, but at least I do know how to do the. Oh god, what's it called? Do I just sign emergency shift actually in the Book of Laws? It might be that. Do I actually have to click on it and it just does it? Not too sure. I'll probably find out in the next episode anyway. Let's speed this on. We've got five people that are sick, so we can probably do with a medical post. Are we all trying to get food in as well? We are now. Move! Time to get 
to work. Right, so we can build a medical post when we get to 25 wood, which would be beneficial. So it's all about knowing what to build, really, or when to build it. The medical post is right in the centre. We're going to have to assign some workers to that as well. Well, we have enough people at the moment, but we also want to build the workshop. Which you can also afford. I think we want that fairly close. I'm gonna build it too far away. Then we'll have to sign some more workers or engineers possibly. A little detail in this game, not them collecting that coal. Engineers working. What is this? Child injured at work. The child won't work. We're, we're, him, we're giving him a day off. He was injured at work, and I hope will increase slightly. As long as they are, we give him a day off, which is one less worker, but, but it's okay. Now, I need to look at my economy and work out how much food we're we using, so. Thrashing's going to daily plus 28. And the Zap's only plus 14, so we're going to need more food. So that is still not ideal, really. So we need another Hunter's Hut down the line. I think we can take a few people off steel. You can now introduce a new law, I think we're going to have to. That's emergency shift has been signed. We've extended shift as well, which is 14 hours. But I think we'll go for soup. We can cook soup instead of four meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. But hope is going to go down slightly, and so will discontent, which is not really a surprise. New law. A new law has passed. I think we are going to go for another hunter's heart as well. Monkey here, so it's not too far away. We could also build another gathering post. Resource depot, extend our storage capacity for chosen resource. I don't need to go for that right now. I could always build a gathering post over here, where we have quite a few workers actually. As long as I connect it to a tree. It's got to be from here, hasn't it? Let's just try that for the time being. I'm sure that'll be fine. Yeah, but we definitely need more food. Once our... Because all these buildings can just be built overnight, that's good. We have 120 food rations at the moment and it's going down, so getting more food is ideal. We are gradually getting more and more coal actually, and as soon as it's going to be a chill. Go rest all who can. Also want to make sure that this is definitely... Just make sure it's connected. Right, where get, we're earning a lot of coal at the moment. What we might do is actually just put three people into here just to increase food. There's no workers available there anyway. So wood here. A full Right, that should boost our food. We're still losing 80 food a day, though, when we're getting 48. 
that's plus 5, plus 14. But we do need a war food to be in anyway. Could even change this to soup. We actually are going to change it to soup just for the time being. Which is slightly less consumption. So really, you want everyone to make sure everyone's fed. We can now just put the people from there into this. I'd say 6 out of 15, 4 for minus that. Let's put a max just on there for the time being. We're going to back off a bit of a downfall in the weather though, which is not ideal. I did actually, oh that is a bad thing, I actually forgot that this has been done. Right, we do want to, we're going to get two engineers out of here. I'm going to go for a first research where we could go for heaters. It's going to be turned on, use more coal, but I get more build, well, more heat in some of my structures. And we're just going to fast speed this. Just while it's the free time cycle. We've got too many people who are ill at the moment. Where is our medical post actually? one more person out of land put into technology just to increase it. Got six people that are ill. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work if they should get injured. We could look the other way this time but others might see it as unfair. We won't make an exception though. No. It could produce even more problems down the line. is here indeed. And now it is chilly which is a low chance of getting healed. But once our heaters are done, I'll be able to upgrade certain structures or shall. The work shift starts. I just need this to really be upgraded. We can also introduce a new law. I got an emergency shift. We can get the extended shift. Shard labour all jobs if we really needed to, but I don't think that's the way to go at the moment. Go for a fighting arena. It would lower discontent and gives people a chance to burn off some steam as well. Listen everyone! New lord! Local signed. post is not relief due to knife no workers in there. person off here and we want someone doing the engineering. But I do need to be able to heat our building so citizens become gravely ill, that is not good. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite, this will keep happening unless we if we have to work in the cold. We must do something. Consider deciding a radical treatment or sustain life. I was going for IC at the moment. Someone else is talking to me as well. We will do what we can. I'll try and help people. Bear with me one moment. Why well, hello again. Well, we're going to see if our research gets done in time. Hopefully it does. Otherwise it's a bit frowny. So our heaters would help us. There we are. Heaters have been researched, which is good news. Let's look at the technology tree. Could go for Hunter's gear, which would. Hunter's will return for me more food each turn. We go for the beacon. I think we know what, for the time being, we're going to go for the beacon after we go for more Hunter's gear, because I need more food. I 
do a few people unemployed. So we're all going to go straight into food. You're collecting coal. Coal is still important. We could maybe lower it by one just to distribute a few more people into food because we're still quite low on that. And we want the cookhouse to be the heater we want that on. You know, it's going to be cold soon anyway. I think the same for the medical post we want them both to be on. I could do emergency shift for a few buildings. Night is coming. Put down your tools. If necessary, don't know if people would be too happy with that though. I'd rather not employ the emergency shift as it yet. Still got plenty of coal for about five days and we've got loads of wood still. We could go for yet another, or we could go for fighting it, arena. Yeah, let's put a fighting arena here, which is near quite a few of our buildings. We can just build that overnight. So that'd be a good way to get discontent lower. People are quite cold at the moment, even at home. So it is minus 40, which is not ideal. Could do is just lower the amount of people working in the workshop and put more people on to the medical posts just so we can deal with the sick more efficiently. Let's fast speed this just so that's what fine arena has been built. So people will at least go off here and burn off some steam, which is great. I don't think that's bad at all. We've got heaters coming in. And the work day is beginning again. Time to get to work. So I think food is still a bit of a bugger. Yeah, minus 80 and plus 44, still not good enough really. I didn't want to take that many workers off though. I want to put three onto that. I want to put yet another two onto here, which is good. I think after the extra gathering post is finished for hunting gear, we'll put more people onto food because I need I, we need more food. We go for a resource depot as well because we are going to need a whole more resources down the line. So is this just a? Hmm, well, I'm just trying to work out. Is this a just a just extend our storage capacity? I think I might actually need another funders up. In all honesty, just due to we're going to need a lot of food. So we are running, slowly running out of uh, rations. We can turn the heaters back on for food buildings. Just because we've got a lot of coal at the moment anyway, so I'm happy to put the heating on just to alleviate some of our people's discontent possibly. Double rations for kids. No, we can't afford it. Not at the moment. Sure, near storage capacity. Well, we might go and just build a resource depot layer actually. I'll take a bit more, that'll be done in four hours. Someone's become gravely ill due to frostbite. We've still got a call down on the Book of Laws as well. One of our people actually died, Jesus. One of our people just died in Eddie Cole will keep claiming lives. Well, we can't. Still have a call down at the minute, so we've got to wait six hours before we can build a cemetery.
We want to start storing coal really at the moment. Is that the same person that died? Hunter's gear researched. We got hunter's gear. That's going to bring in a bit more food, at least. But I think we do need the beacon desperately. I'm going to go for the beacon next. We all still functioning. Who have we got working on steel? Let's just have a little peek around here for the moment. That is coal. I think I can minus a few people off leaves just to collect me even more food. So that's 5.3 a day, so that's a lot more food. Just have to put on to alleviate this yet? Nearly. That's actually a standard meal. So a soup we should be fine actually. And coal we're getting just enough a day. Gather your tools. The shift is ending. Medical post has got quite a few people in it at the moment. More sick beds needed. Oh, I, I can open a new medical post. Which is okay, I can afford it. I've got it right next to the other one. So I've got some workers, is that kids? No, I've got kids available. We can get back in that cookhouse, little kid. some more people on wood for the time being. Hopefully we don't run out of any resources anytime soon, so I'd have to think ahead because we are going to have to start building stuff like sawmills down the line. No, well, we're going to do an emergency shift for that facility. So I want, I want that stuff researched. And I can introduce a new law. I think we are going to go for a cemetery. Hope will rise slightly, no risk of disease from unburied bodies. But each burial will require some people from, like, people have to take their leave from work, so it can be a bit of an issue. 20 wood. It's not expensive. Listen, everyone. New law is and we are going to go build a cemetery. It'll be built right next to that covering post. This is on 24 hours at the moment, and we're about to finish getting the beacon very shortly. Cemetery is established, so it's hopes rise. This content is still a bit of an issue, but that's because of how cold it is as well. The beacon's been researched. Oh, we could also go for the steam hub. Which for 20 steel, the steam hub is meaning we can dot them around and provide more heat, but the temperature is about to temperature will rise one level, but that's, will drop one level. That's good. Because we still have people that are sick at the moment. But you're not working because it's too cold. We'll just turn the heat on. For what engineers we have in there. So this content has gone down and I hope it's increased. Ten people being treated. At least we've got some medical post up and running. Food is quite low, but we're about to get a lot more raw food in, I think. Yeah, we've got 19 raw food. So how much does each raw food provide? That is the question. 37 plus. So I only missed that on one, really. That's all coal will produce four war fashion four food rations from two raw food and we got 31 okay so not too bad who's unemployed an engineer's unemployed i 
can't send you out anyway. Uh, yeah, we can't. We don't want to make you work anymore. Person in the medical post that increased our efficiency anyway. Let's fast forward this up. It's a little bit warmer now. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. What's that steel wreckage depleted, I think, over here? So this building's now completely inoperative just because there's no resources in range, so we can dismantle this. We can probably go ahead and build a gathering post over here, actually. One is a street connecting it. So that'll stop our people getting ill. I think it's going okay though. You know what? I'm actually going to end it on a positive point. We have not died yet. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. And I will see you in the next episode. Most importantly, just remember while playing this game, the city must survive.